Hey, what's up guys, this is Sam from BSC Tech. Today's video is about uh, how to run a self-diagnostic test on any smart TV. What that means is basically if you are having any kind of problem or uh, if you are facing any issues, for example, uh, while you watch a channel and all of a sudden your screen just uh, starting flickering or uh, for some reason uh, you're having issues uh, with your video quality or uh, the connection problem, then this test will basically uh, help you in order to diagnose the problem. So basically it's a self-diagnosing test which you can run on any smart TV. Uh, in different TVs, it will be located on different areas on Samsung smart TVs. Uh, all you have to go into the settings page and then once you're into the settings page, keep scrolling down in general and after general you will see support area and in support area the second tab as you can see on a screen is for self-diagnostic in lg sony and uh, other brands uh, the settings will be similar uh, self uh, assessment diagnostic or uh, self-diagnostic tool or self-diagnostic test so today we are going to try this on samsung smart tv as you can see uh, in the middle we have a couple of other options we're not touching them uh, if you look at the self-diagnostic test, then there are a couple of other segments as you can see that we have picture test and then sound test and then signal information if you are connected with Wi-Fi or through a LAN cable or smart uh, hub connection test and if you have any other smart appliances connected uh, uh, with your TV uh, through wireless or through cable connection and then the second last and the last options are reset hub and reset your uh, diagnostic test so first thing we will run first smart picture test uh, this will give you brief information about uh, uh, the picture quality or if you are experiencing any kind of problems when you stream pictures or you watch any kind of images on your tv so we will click on run and then we will wait for the test to complete so as you can see that uh, the test photo will now be shown. Please look carefully at the screen for the five seconds. If you see any dead pixel, any line or any problem, then you can always configure that. Yes, five seconds are uh, not enough, but uh, if you see any problem, you can always figure out in a split second, for example, a horizontal or vertical line or any other issue or a dead pixel. You can also clearly see that we will do that again. As you can see, it's a colorful picture, two kids sitting uh, uh, at a sandy beach and there wasn't anything which we possibly could see. Uh, as you can see that the picture test is complete. If the self-diagnostic picture test is okay, your TV may not have a problem with this segment. Check your external devices and connections. If you are using uh, a USB cable, then a USB, sorry, a USB drive, possibly there is some problem with that drive which is containing all your pictures which you want to basically run on your TV as a slideshow. Second thing is sound test. Uh, this will basically give you uh, the overall sound quality test. If you click on this test and the TV will play a, uh, a short sound and uh, music or some sort of other thing. And then you can see if there's any buffering or there's any distortion in the sound you can uh, also come back in this segment. So we'll go for the sound test now. If there is any problem, you can click on yes and then you can go into the diagnostic area and then do the master reset as you can see in this area. And uh, then we have uh, the signal information test which is not available at the moment then we can go for uh, the smart hub test signal information test is when you have a smart tv which has uh, uh, a sim card inserted into that or if you have any kind of uh, 3g or 4g dongle connected with that uh, then you can use that or your tv is connected through uh, a gprs or a 4g or 3g internet connection using a sim card or any kind of connection manager and then we have a smart hub connection test which we will run and this will basically give you the overview of your connected internet as you can see on the top we have four tabs which are going to five tabs which are going to run one by one and this will basically diagnose any problem with your internet connection if you have any 
the smarter connection test was complete successfully if you have any problem while online services contact your internet provider in some cases you have to restart your router and these two segments as you have seen on screen basically they allow you to reset the smart hub and uh, obviously the samsung account settings stored on your tv for example if you're using a samsung device uh, with the stored login details and this last option is basically restore all tv settings back to the factory settings so that was it for today's video guys i hope uh, uh, the self-diagnostic test will find any problems you are facing with your uh, tv uh, take care and uh, see you soon bye bye